Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to create a key value map in Aptitude UI and retrieve the value in runtime and send it to the backend. In this video, we are going to see how to create a simple key value map in Aptitude using UI. Let's say I want to store my name in the key value map and uh, whenever a request comes to the from the client, this value is not going to come from the client and we are going to try to inject it using the key value map policy before we send the request to the backend. We're going to retrieve this value from our key value map using KVM policy and uh, inject the value into query parameter before we send it to the backend. So we're going to see that in action. As you can see here, I'm logged in into Apache Edge. I'm under Apache 4 mp 4 v org. Let's create a simple key value map. Uh, go to admin, click on environments and then choose the environment where you want to store the key value map let's say test and then click on key value maps i'm going to create a new key value map called uh, kvm underscore store underscore one i'm not going to encrypt it i'm going to store it as a plain text and then we have created a key value map store it is like a think about a collection of uh, key value maps Let's create a new uh, entry into this particular key value map. So I'm going to say it as my name and uh, Anil Sagar on and then save it. So we just created a simple key value map. Let's try to create an API proxy and retrieve this key value map using KVM policy. Click on API proxies. Click on plus proxy to create a new proxy. I'm going to create a simple reverse proxy using uh, HTTP echo API. I'm going to say it as KVM demo. I'm going to say it as slash v1 slash uh, KVM get demo. Use existing API as HTTP colon slash slash HTTP pin dot org slash get. Click next. Then choose authorization as pass through. Choose the default and apply to test environment. Once the API's proxy is deployed, we're going to edit the API proxy and attach the KVM policy. As you can see, this is the endpoint. If you call the API, as you can see, there are no arguments, no query parameters sent. So we're going to inject the query parameter in Apache Edge using KVM policy and retrieve the value that we have stored in the key value panel. So click on preflow, click on plus step, click on uh, key value map operations. As you can see, the default template contains a lot of elements. Uh, we're going to remove everything except get. And then assign to query parameter. So it will be request dot uh, query parameter, query parameter dot uh, my name. And then remove index. Uh, we're not going to retrieve the key value map multiple values. So remove reference because we're going to hard code it. So I'm going to just say it as uh, my name. So just for the reference, I'm going to open the uh, key value maps in another tab. And choose test. Key value maps. As you can see, uh, our key value map is stored as the my iPhone name. So I'm going to give it as my iPhone name and I'm going to assign the value of my name, my iPhone name to query parameter my name. And we have to specify the map identifier. So add the element map identifier is equal to the name of uh, key value map. That is kvm underscore store one. Save the API and uh, let's make an API call. So, as you can see, now there is a query parameter, my name, on Anil Sagar, which is injected in Apache Edge, though the client is not sending the query parameter. Let's see that act in action in the trace. So, I'm going to switch to trace, click on start trace session, and make the API call. As you can see here, when I click on the KVM policy, the query parameter, my name, is empty before the policy execution, after the policy it is set to, set to Anil Sagar R. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to post your questions in company.rpg.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified.